Any rare merch that you own, Vin? Not really. I have a signed picture of Kurt Cobain. Upside down vine shroom plushie. Yep, I got that. I have um, signed stuff from the Star Trek Next Generation cast. Vinny, would you ever give away signed photos of yourself? Listen, if I'm someone that you really want a signature from, God bless you, A. But, uh, at conventions only, really. I'd rather actually meet someone, sign their thing, than sign 700 items and then, you know, send them out. Also, I don't have the merch. Like, so people are like, Vinny, can I get a signed CD or shirt or vinyl? Which is really flattering. You make me feel like I'm actually worth a damn sometimes. But, you gotta understand, I don't have any of that stuff. That's in Chicago. So it'd have to ship to me, to then ship to you. Vinny, are you gonna make me bring all these damn vinyls to PAX to get them signed? Just bring one. Um, also, I brought... I think 20 records with me to PAX or too many games one year. 20 records of a double for another light. That shit was very heavy. That was not a good thing to do. So that, that sucked. But, um, you know, you learn. Bid Wars Beaver event. I think we did a lot of selling last time, so we can probably just get started on the, the bid war. Do I have to do these bid wars? Anyway, thank you for asking me all these questions, chat members. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Let's, uh, let's play dumb alien game, considering the Pentagon has... ...said that there are mysterious objects that were created off... ...off-world. Recently, Barn Finders is a pretty good game to play in regards to that topic. <laughs> Even if it is bullshit... I'm just saying, Vinny, that was a random ex-senator. Fine, fair enough. I just thought it was fun to, uh, to bring up, and immediately everyone rained on my parade, just because I want to believe in something that is extremely unlikely, and, uh, them aliens and clapping them cheeks. Doesn't matter, we'll find extraterrestrial life in barn finders. Did you know that Miko is the global oh, leader in providing a house? Smash lineup confirmed. Are you a bio defender? It should work. People didn't like you at school. Having anger management issues. 
That's not an MS Dom. Perfect candidate for Miko PMC services. Apply now to join. The random senator was Harry Reid, former president of the Senate and 40 plus year senator from Nevada. I didn't ask you that. Okay. Well, I mean, hey. You know, when we started Nevada, um, we definitely saw aliens. We knew that if we were to bring punk rock to the masses, we'd have to do it through, uh, UFOs and alien cheeks. How do I start the bid war chat? Are you Am I Cursed Cobain, I like that. Is it supposed to be Kurt or Chris Novoselic? Uh, it's 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 just a, the worst possible Kurt Cobain impression one could do. It's terrible. I know it is. K U R D T. Now, do I have to do this auction to go to the next area? Because I, I no longer need to, like, get all this stuff. I just want to go to the next area and, and see all the things. This is optional? Oh, okay. So we'll, we'll grab this stuff, sell it, and then we'll head to the next place. Just do it in case the moon stuff is a lot to bid. Alright. I mean, I can do a couple of them. You're gonna need money for the upcoming auction. Miko! You need around 10k, alright. There's really not a lot of stuff left. There's this. No one's bidding. Well, I'm not going to bid until it starts getting to the end of the auction. God damn it. The airboat should get you a good amount. I don't even know how to do the airboat. Win more auctions than anyone else to get the boat. Fucking swords in here?
Wow. It's like Skyrim. It's like... It's a, like purchased assets. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I can't wait until, um, Avowed becomes the new Skyrim. And then people will finally stop, myself included, stop saying Skyrim for everything. Do you think Avowed is going to be good? It has the potential to be. Um, I really wasn't crazy about Outer Worlds. I barely played it though, so I, I only put like five hours, six hours in it. It, it had some solid... It, it could have been really... It, maybe it is good. I don't think Outer Worlds is a bad game by any means. But I do think that um, with a little bit more budget, a little bit more time, Obsidian could really do something special with Avowed. Outer Worlds was a worse New Vegas. Well, now that they have... I think they had to limit their scope. I, had, I think they had to focus on the essentials. You know, making a new engine... Um... You know, starting a new series, not having the, you know, having to create all the assets. Like, it, I feel like for Obsidian, who's not as big as Bethesda, it almost, it makes sense that it was a little bit more scaled back and didn't quite do what some people wanted it to do, myself included. Um, I think if they do another Outer Worlds, it has the potential to be better. Now that they have the engine, the assets, the story, they have a direction, they have a place to go, they know what to fix, what to improve if they listen to their community. So, I, I like Obsidian a lot. I think they're, they're really great. And I think Avowed has a lot of potential. I'll be, I'll be really anticipating it. There was a gun in the Skyrim locker on the floor. Vinny, please, it uses Unreal Engine 4. Did it? Outer Wilds? So then, I guess forget the new engine thing. Vinny, there were two Sebastians. W were there really? I, I was busy looking at the chat. This game is quality game, no glitch. Did you play Outer Wild? I streamed a little bit of it. I just stopped. That was also the time Death Stranding was out and a million other games, and I had to prioritize. And I was like, what games do I want to spend more time playing? Oh, did you say Outer Wilds? Well, yeah, I streamed that too. Recently. That's my game of the year last year, even though I played it this year. I keep confusing them, because we're talking about Obsidian. But you didn't play Death Stranding, you liar. I did. I got five hours of Death Stranding. Hey, that's as long as the campaign in Titanfall 2. So, you know... 
I said wilds, not worlds. So I did play Outer Worlds and Outer Wilds. Vinny, you didn't really give it much of a chance. I didn't. I didn't I didn't like the beginning of it. I wanted to play other games. It wasn't for me. I didn't give it a chance. I gave it the most minimal of chances with those six or so hours that I played it. And um I'm willing to admit that. That's fine. I just found the characters and the world and the cutscenes very it started at a 10. It was very confusing, very unlikable. Um, I didn't really enjoy the gameplay very much, and I'm sure it would have gotten better. I know it would have. I know people that really liked it. My friend Tyler borrowed it for me. He liked it. I probably would like it if I gave it a chance, but I didn't give it a chance. And I don't want to. Sorry, Kojima. Vinny, that makes me sad. I don't have an extra 50 hours to devote to that game. As mean as that may sound. Gets good after 10 hours, gets good after 20 hours, gets good after 30 hours. I heard all of that. I just don't- I don't have it in me. I'm already busy with Xenoblade, and that's already, like, a lot for me. So I guess I have this now, huh? I could just, like, exit? Do I automatically get that? Get the gun. I did, even though I missed one, um, one item. It's all good. We'll make the money, you know, and then we'll go ahead to the next place. This, I would think, would be a hot seller. You know, an actual fucking hologram technology we don't have on Earth. Yep, I'll I set it up for ten dollars. My favorite part of Death Stranding that I saw, and saw from other people, was the communal aspect of building roads and leaving messages and, like, supplies and all that cool stuff. That stuff, I think, is fantastic, and I would love to see more of that in the future. Yeah, zip lines, ladders, like, just interesting things that you can leave around for other players. That is truly exciting to me, and I, I hope that we see more of that kind of shit. Like, I want to see more games take advantage of that kind of online stuff, where you don't have to deal with other players. But you can see their works. Hear me roar. That kind of thing. So you want more strand-type games? <laughs> if you call it a strand-type game, then sure, yeah. If, if that's the, the strand thing, um, I wouldn't mind seeing it with a different game. Not every game do I need to shoot, but I also need likable characters. And, like, a world that I can at least understand a little bit. 
And I I know I'm not a smart person. No, 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 no. But um I I don't know. I, I like I like to shoot in video games, I do. Vinny, you expected to understand a Kojima game in the first five hours, they explain more later. Metal Gear Solid, the original, one of my top ten games of all time, is like a ten hour game, right? And it starts very simply. Colonel. Snake. Missiles. Snake swim. Stop nuke. Swat some bothersome flies. And then gradually the insanity works its way in. But it's very... I, I like... One of my favorite things about the original Metal Gear Solid is that it starts out very standard. It's the future. There's a spy who's cool, who, you know, is infiltrating this base. You understand him, you understand his mission. And then later it starts getting real crazy. But it, it gives you a chance to really understand and establish the world. Metal Gear Solid 2, a little bit crazier, but still within the realm of believability until a dude starts flying. But the series definitely, uh, starts, you know, it, it, two was insanity, and then three kind of grounds back in reality, gets you all grounded, and then it starts throwing the weird shit at you again. <clears throat> I'm voice cracking hard. So I do love Kojima. I love his games. I love Metal Gear Solid with a deep, deep passion. And, um, I'm still excited to see what he's going to produce next. If it's another strand type game... I'm down for that, but I'd like to see what maybe it's something I'll be interested in more. I hope. Do I find Joel in chat says yes, but that aside, Vinny, do you find Hideo Kojima sexy? That's the real question. Yes. Did you see him in Phantom Pain? He was in it. You see how cool he looked? With his, like, glasses, and like, he was like a, an operative. I think, um, I said this before, but Hideo Kojima really should just make a movie. Like, I'm down to play his games, I'm down to try his games. Like, I went to the Death Stranding pop-up event, I was hoping he would be there. It was in, uh, Chelsea, in, in Manhattan, and, um... It was, it was weird. It was cool, I got pictures, I really enjoyed it. So I went in with a pretty open mind, but man, just didn't click. But, uh, I do think that the dude should direct movies, like, that's his passion, that's what he loves. Give it a shot. See what happens. Vinny, he's bad at dialogue, so I'm not sure a Kojima movie would work out well. I don't think he's bad at dialogue, but you get people to help you. You know, like, don't do what George Lucas did in the prequels. Dude created this amazing world. But he wanted full control of the scripts. Hire someone to help the script. He's not bad at dialogue, says a chat member. A lot gets lost in translation. Well, this is a hot-button topic. I don't know enough about it to really comment too much. I'm doing my best here. I like the script of Metal Gear Solid 1 a lot. I think the dialogue is, is good. And 3. It's wacky, but it's, I don't know, I like, I like that particular script. I like the wackiness in that game. I'm, I'm happy with it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, when you translate from one language to the next, sure, there's, there's bound to be some... Some language barrier issues, I'm sure. 
but uh, I can't help but like the guy. And you get that dude hooked up with someone who could like really localize his script nicely. I think he can make a cool movie. Give him the ideas. Let let him be the ideas guy. Let him do like the 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 shot framing, the camera work. You know, have him do like some cinematography stuff. Have him come up with the characters, the twists, and then have someone do someone else do the dialogue. Hmm. Agent. Agent. It would be a good exercise in keeping a story under three hours. Yeah. Like a two-hour movie. Like, some directors just like to have... Look at Scorsese, dude. Scorsese just released, what, like, was it a four-hour movie? Three and a half hours with The Irishman? The movie's a little bit long. I feel like there could have been some potential to cut. But I watched it in a couple different parts. And it felt more like a, like a Netflix, like, limited, you know, TV show. I liked it. What's Joel saying? Did you watch Akira? Oh god. No, I haven't. 2034 now. No, there's, it's just a meme, Joel. I, I've been saying everybody that asks me where Akira is, because people... I stream the day after the charity stream and people are like, Vinny, where's Akira? Did you watch it yet? I'm like, dude, it's been like three hours. So I was just joking, like, every time someone mentions it, I delay it another day. It's not a meme. It's real. What do you Yeah, you gotta- when the thieves show up, you gotta smack them in the face. <laughs> Vinny, we will stop pirating Red Vox until you watch Akira. I had to think about that for a second. And then I realized, wait, no, this is fine. Like, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Don't mind. Pirate as long as you want. Any chance of a blood bagel vinyl? Probably not anytime soon, no. It's only five songs. I don't know if I'd want to do a whole vinyl for five songs, but... It's also... Maybe in the deep future? Like the deep, deep future? Is there someone in this store? Right now, chat? It looks like Michael Myers. It shows that there's someone in here, but no one's in here. What the fuck is happening? Someone bought the boat already. Who is it? That was a ghost. So I'm gonna get 12k just in case. Yeah, I'm a little too lazy to haggle. If it's like like big items, I'll haggle. Like this is definitely going to be a haggle.
Is your store on top of an old cemetery? <laughs> yeah, it's an old burial ground, yes. How every Are You Afraid of the Dark ghost episode started. Vinny, did you hear H. John Benjamin's new album? My name is H. I've released an album. I don't know how to play jazz, so I just, like, I put my cat on the piano. I mean, it's true, he's done a jazz album. He had, um, a bunch of backing musicians, and then he just played piano. But he doesn't know how to play piano, so is that what he did this time? Alright, let's go do the next job. Steve Gray, Mission Moon, thank you again for saving me. Can you please bring me back one bottle of Galaxy Moonshine with your truck upgrade? It might be easy. After you grab it, please send me. I would like to add some extra flavor to it before we deliver it to Bobby Gray. <laughs> you know, the moon. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> no pretense now. Full sci-fi. Full alien. What's up, Joel? You don't like this? Don't you like UFOs and aliens? And greys? I thought you did. I know I do. I definitely didn't have nightmares about greys for years of my life. Definitely didn't. Should fly. Vinny, did you watch Grey's Anatomy? I, I watched. No, but I watched Grey's Autopsy back in 1995. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. It was fake, but. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. How do we turn this dag blasted thing off? Intruder alert. 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 There's a wheel. Yep. There's just a wheelbarrow on the moon. A whale barrel. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Maybe the big red button on the wall. He, chat member alert. says. You Intruder see a big alert. red button on the wall? Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Oh. Intruder. Thank you. Welcome to Miko Moon Station. Okay. Is I thought it was Miko. 
cousin. What an awful long drive! Just, I realize now his face is crooked. There has to be a way to use this air tunnel. If you're watching the stream for the first time, this has to be very confusing. I've been playing it since the beginning. And I'm still confused. Social Plaza, enjoy your stay. I was half expecting the Balam Garden music to play. We can make moonshine here. I sense a water pump and a ingredient station. These aliens and their terrible grammar. Nico. You want me to do the alien voice? My alien voice has pissed off so many people that they've actually sent me a petition to stop doing the alien voice. That's not true at all, but they would. Blah, blah, blah. We are your friends. You will save us, Captain Taggart. The protector. And now it exploded. That's a very quotable movie. What a sirens. I personally despise the Pippin voice. Yeah, I mean, the weird thing is, um, I hate that voice. But, yet it is my voice. So that must mean I hate myself. Where are we going, Tree Beard? Babkin voice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, people have their favorites, and then other people think those favorites are the worst. But I keep trying to one-up myself with worse voices, like Kurt. That one, I think, is maybe my new low. And so I'm trying to top myself, or bottom myself? That sounds like a sex move. I don't like that. Well, you know, when we got to the moon... We knew we were the biggest band. Uh, Guns N' Roses' Axel could eat my dick. So, near Birder got to the moon. Yeah, me and my band Nerf Herder, we were on a uh, Hoff doing a show, and Han Solo was there. I think that was a plus two. No? Alright. Well. Just trying to find new and innovative ways to lose audience members, that's all. Miko! Miko! I'd hang out on the moon, if it looked this nice. They have Airbnbs on the moon. So that's what I might do. I've been thinking about, like, my vacation. Like, I actually do need to take a fucking vacation. As much as I don't want to. I think I need to. Even if it's just, like, five days. Four or five days. I thought about an Airbnb. Near a mountain. That's as far as I've gotten. Airbnb near a mountain. You mean Wildwood, New Jersey? Oh god, I don't think there would be a point to go to Wildwood this year. As much as I like going to that trash, trashy, amazing place, um, what, what the fuck could I do there? You know, 
because of an unspecified global event. I don't feel like it would be um, a, a good use of my time and resources to go to Wildwood again when what the when there's no real. I mean, sure, I, I don't even really go on the beach. I just like the boardwalk. I like the Polish water ice. I like the arcades. I like to walk for like you know two three hours, but um, it's nice. I enjoy it, but just not. It wouldn't have the same effect as it usually does. So I wouldn't mind going to, like, um, a mountain destination, bring my guitar. Just relax. Turn my phone off. I, I already have limited human capacity. You know, like, I, I really I have a social gas tank that runs on empty sometimes. So I, I like the idea of just turning the phone off. Rent an RV? That's not for me, dog. Vinny, you would be bored within two days. I would, but maybe I, I just sit in it a little bit. You know, instead of trying to do something to occupy myself all the time, I could... or work or whatever, just sit in the boredom and, and try to, like, grow as a human. And think about life and UFOs. Yo, is there a place I can I rent an Airbnb in a UFO hotspot? I want to see some birds. Miko. Yes, actually. That sounds cool. I wouldn't mind doing that, but I also don't want to go to Nevada. For that, or New Mexico, or any of these, you know, places, I just, I kind of want to just stay local. <laughs> but anyway, you can rent one in a hotspot. That's insane that that's real. You, that, I, I'm, I was joking, but if it's real, it's real. I want to go to the McDonald's that looks like a, a UFO, like a flying saucer. I believe yeah, I there's I believe it's in New Mexico by Roswell. Go to the Skinwalker Ranch. <laughs> I want to go to the Skywalker Ranch. I want to see their um I want to I want to see Watto. Let's go to the alien place in Massachusetts. I'm tempted. There's that place from the Unsolved Mysteries episode. They have a plaque and everything. That's It seems kind of cool. But I think more than anything, I just want to see a mountain. It's been years since I've been to the Pocono Mountains or the Adirondacks or the Catskills. It sounds really bizarre, right? Why, why do I need to see a mountain? I don't know. I don't have a good answer. <laughs> Mountains are nice. Poconos is great right now, is it? I miss the Poconos. I had a good time there. Maybe I'll Airbnb in the Poconos or some shit. I don't know. I also like that Airbnb has, like... This is, like, redneck alien hip-hop. I love it. Um... I love that Airbnb has, like, weird places that you can book. Like, I saw one covered wagon. Come live the lifestyle of a pioneer. <laughs> I'm like, what? And it's just, like, a covered wagon that you can, like, stay in. And it has, like, a bed. And then you go camping, and then the people, the hosts, like, do little events. Someone said, why? I don't know. People like it. It's like a little adventure. You know, some people like that shit. Go meet Joel. Do you think getting on a plane is a really great idea right now? 
because I don't think it is. But thanks for the suggestion. Whatever vacation I end up taking, I'm gonna drive. Take a boat. Should I get a yacht? Water pump station. I want to see if thieves it. I want like um, you know, like a old timey pirate ship. I want to get some some friends to help me, and we can just be bored on the open sea for like three weeks. More than three weeks. Get some uh, limes. Well, limes can join too if she wants, but I mean like some limes to prevent scurvy. <laughs> One and three and two and four and three and five. Oh wow, that was good. Don't like appear like that. I just realized something, chat. I realized something important. You see this alien? I just realized that there's an image that I was showing you all for a long time. Do you remember? It's the same thing. Oh my god. Norm. I, I can't believe I didn't make this connection earlier. That needs to be a four-part emote. God, I wish I had more emote slots. I mean, I do, but it's for the more expensive tiers. I, I might... My idea was if I ever did the more expensive tier em emotes, I'd make them the worst emotes possible. That could count. Actually, now that I think about it... I just... Uh, it feels weird. Miko! I think they have a new thing, Twitch is rolling out something where you can, like, crust up your emotes on purpose. Something dumb like that. Like how there's no Texas. Like, lower quality. I think you can... ...make them purple and, and twisty. And or give them sunglasses. I could be wrong. I don't remember exactly what it was. Just some... some... ...dumb emote thing. Yeah, but, um, sunglasses that automatically attach to the eyes... ...via an algorithm. So it'll- it'll know that your emote has eyes, and it'll automatically find them and put the sunglasses on them. I think it's already happening. I think it's a thing already. Holy shit! Wow, it's working really, really well. I had no idea. This is what we spend our technology on? That has existed for months. Well, I'm... ...very clearly in need of some education. Premium toilet. Available. For transport. It's a Horgon. How the fuck did they get the Four Seasons? 
And I don't mean the hotel. Plans for Sunday. I can't believe... I, I forgot that... I lost a day this week, chat. I lost a day. Where did it go? I don't know. Uh, but I, I have some ideas for Sunday, but nothing too concrete, so... That's, that's how I feel every week. It's just... You know, the vetting team has some ideas, other people have ideas that they send me, and then I, you know, if I get lucky, we get a segment. Um, but that's not, oh, I mean... It just depends, really. I try not to put too many collections together. If it's big collection, big collection, big collection... You know, that doesn't work for me. I, I, you know, I like to have one long game, one collection, a couple little weird games, some interesting stuff. I don't know, it's, it's kind of, there's... It just depends on what material I have. I don't know where to, where to go from here, exactly. Will video game commercials make a return? People wanted it to return. I think I got most of the, like, the, the common commercials. But, um... It could in the future. I already did a part two of that, so I don't know if there's gonna be a part three. It's the monolith from 2001. <laughs> AI Dungeon update. Is that what you want, chat? Because I, I signed up- I'm now paying for AI Dungeon. The Dragon update makes the AI, like, a very, very coherent. And apparently the update is like a night and day difference. I always feel a little weird doing a segment too close to the previous one, but... I did buy it, so... I probably should. Yeah, why not? We can do AI Dungeon. It'll be- I think it'll be really good to see the difference between the previous one and the new one. So that- that sounds fun. I like AI Dungeon. Mr. Frank will make an appearance. Ingredient station. Making moonshine on the moon. Somehow, it feels like a natural extension of what this game is supposed to be. This whole time, I was wondering if there's some sinister alien subplot. No. Alien was captured, is freed, wants moonshine. Alright. Is the AI dungeon you pay for the different one than the one you play online? It's just a better version. It uses the new Dragon AI system. Um, there's a free trial... ...of it. But I, you know, I, I wanted to support them and also get it. Corn loaded successfully. Um, that's four corn. Uh-oh, I hope that's okay. So, uh, but yeah, the, the update is... 
is more is more good. Barley loaded successfully. Barley made it. So you can um, you can do the trial for a week, and then if you buy it, you get it forever, and you get access to any of the new improvements and updates that may you know occur. Because it's expensive to do some of that stuff to run those servers. It's becoming less expensive, but um, yeah, it's it's a thing that costs them money, especially if it's overloaded. So, it makes sense that they'd need to get some capital for that thing, but... If they're continuing to make updates as substantial as they are now, I think it's fine to pay for it. I'm happy to. Vinny, it's a monthly fee. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware. You can cancel. So, let's say I don't do AI Dungeon for like a year. You know, or I don't plan on doing it for like six months. I could just cancel and sign up again. It's no problem. Talk to Transformer got shut down because of money problems. Yeah. Distillery station. Use this panel to make our galaxy moonshine. Reset. Add corn. Error. Sequence reset. Reset. Miss a stupid? What the fuck is this? Error. Sequence reset. Vinny, this isn't complicated. Corn plus lever. You have to manage pressure. Add drive. Add corn. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I get it. Add drive. Add drive. Add drive. Add dry. Add corn. Add corn. Add corn. Add drive. No barley? Your moonshine is ready. Great job, now we can go back home. Still a fart at the end of the day. I'm missing a lot of moon items, so I have to ask, um... How- how much more of this game is there after this? Two more areas? Are you kidding me? This isn't the last stream of this. <laughs> How many times have I said this will be the last stream of Barn Finders? Stream number two was the last Barn Finder stream. This is an anomaly. Like seriously, like an like an alien, this game has become an anomaly. 
Also, I'm missing like a quarter of the items almost, 20% of the items. Add corn. Go into space. I don't think I can. I, I would love to. I don't know how to. You missed the ladder in one of the air ducts. I'll, I'll take a quick look one more time. At port. Order corn. Order corn. Yeah, there's golden toilet paper somewhere around here. I guess I have to do some platforming. There's some stuff for the elevator above the garden. I don't- I don't know how to get up there. I broke the only box, that's true, yeah. Oh, I could just crouch. Yeah, that- that'll do it. Where is the doodle dip to follow? Where is the doodle dip to follow? Well, this is Unity too, right? Yep. Unity 2. It's the, the second Unity. see it up here. We're still still farting. Please, please, please. Do it. Got it. Wow, we did it. Wow. Worth all of that effort. What else did I miss? Someone new of another area? You missed a key card slot in the space sh suit room. I think I got that. I just don't know where else there is. It, again, I don't know how I'm missing 20% of the items. I feel like I've explored every major area. missed an entire area. There's a path on the way to the toilet paper.
path on the way to the toilet paper. What time is it? 3.30 a.m. The lamp in the bedroom, too. fully explore the bathrooms I did. All right, let's let's uh never mind. Did you know that Miko is the global leader in providing household appliances? Yeah, I did the key card. I I pretty much Yeah, pretty much did everything I can do. Time to leave. Missing seven items. Wow. At the top of the garden, there's an open pathway. Alright, well there you go. If I need to go back to the moon, I will. Apparently we can get there anytime, no problem. But, um, this clearly won't be the last, uh, stream of this. A lot of broken items. There's a space suit. There's a lot of pieces. Yeah. A uh, totally accurate battle simulator added pirates and skeletons. That's cool. I think Mono was playing that last night. I would like to eventually check it out, perhaps, um, in the future. Not whilst I'm streaming a million other games, but I like it. Same devs made a tank game. I heard about it. I didn't see it. Check it out one day. Dimension Slicer. I need a Dimension Slicer to go back home. When you look for Bobby, can you send me one? Lumber. It's an old building. Are these last two areas worth it? Yes. God damn it. Next week, I'm going to devote a two-hour stream to this game. <laughs> and we'll do it up. I'm going to just sell some stuff. Vinny, four hours? Yeah. Could, could be um, more than... Could certainly be more than two hours worth of gameplay left. I re I'm in a weird love-hate relationship with this game. On some level, I resent it because there's so much of it. And because it keeps, like, getting good. And I've enjoyed just walking around, chilling out, and seeing all the areas. That was actually both a complaint and praise. Hello, my lad. Baby, 
What's the point of this game? Dang old pork his butthole. Yeah, you find barns, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I wonder, I really would wonder if any of the Barn Finder devs have watched any of my streams, because I don't know if anyone else is streaming Barn Finders at the moment. But I, like, I really have to wonder <laughs> if they're just like, wait a minute, why is this guy streaming our stuff? If I made a game, I'd probably, like, search Twitch to see if someone was playing it. I, I don't, yeah, I'd probably do that. Barn finders just appeared. There are no devs. I'm inclined to believe that. Yeah. The devs are from Poland. What's up, Poland? Polish water ice, the best games on the boardwalk. Barn finders, Witcher three. I mean, yeah, Witcher three has competition. They need to say uh, hello in Polish. You say kurwa. Well, what about Żywiec and Agnieszka? I can say the name of a beer and the name of a person. Kurwa equals fuck. Damn it. Perkele is is Fin Finland Finnish. was told to roll the R. Perkele. Vinny is the most linguistically American Twitch streamer. I don't know what that means. <laughs> linguistically American. What? I want to take that as a compliment, but I don't understand it. It means fucking dumb? Oh. I say good word. I'm a linguini American, chat. Which is true, I'm Italian. No, is Agnieszka the one who had a problem with Arkansas? No, that was Godensia. <laughs> Good callback, though. Mm. 
<laughs> Gridania? Yep, that's her. Gridania had the problem with oh, the, the, the <laughs> with, oh, with the state of Arkansas. <laughs> she said, "Is that Arkansas? That's not a real state." Gr Gridania. Gardenia. I like you, Gardenia. Do I know how to get the golden toilet paper on top of the building? No. Vinny, I think you're slowly going insane. Do not doubt that me streaming for 10 years has irreparably damaged me as a human. And I... <laughs> I don't even know if I'm joking if I say that. Um... And slowly? It's not like I went into this thing with all my fucking marbles to begin with. Look, agent, agent, and an alien. Okay, time to close the store. I want to get that golden toilet paper. Maybe... Maybe chat can help. Just do this. Chat doesn't need to help. That's a hell of a collection. And now is the time where I forget if this game autosaves. Every fucking time. It will save everything, right? Yeah, all right. All right, everybody, thank you for watching the stream tonight. I had a good time. Vine Realms was great. Thank you, Vine Realms peoples, for making such a cool game. And uh, everybody else for joining tonight. So, as I learned a couple hours ago, um, tomorrow, or later today, is in fact uh, Sunday, <laughs> therefore Sunday stream, and then, um, you know, after that, we'll be doing, um, during the week, I'll probably do more Castlevania, Paper Mario, Barn Finders, we'll finish it up. Uh, what else am I sure? Rock of Ages, Carrion, all that stuff, all the good stuff. Okay. What are you going to do tomorrow since it's Friday? I don't know, L is real. What we'll go into. Listen, at some point, if there's, um, I also have some good Gan Breeder stuff I can show you. I forgot someone made a really good collection of Gan Breeder shit, all labeled with some weird music. It's going to be fun. One day, though, I'd love to have a compilation of all the leaks and just talk about them. But I'd need like an easy source, like of stuff where I could just download, 
show it on stream, talk about it, you know, something like to, to move it along quickly. But anyway, um, yeah, let's do the art. 